am i centered <laughs> i hate myself like why did i do this why why mm -hmm. it's my birthday coming up it's on february 28th i am a pisces this is a what i got for my birthday video i am so excited so i just wanted to go straight into it and just show you guys oh my god what i got for my birthday so the first thing is this it is from lo Bebe, as you guys can see a few months ago lo Bebe did a spirited away collaboration and okay let's do a little unboxing i haven't worn these shoes just because i haven't filmed an unboxing which is why i'm trying to film this and get it over with because i've been really lazy so these are what the sneakers look like okay so these are um an existing sneaker at loewe and for their spirited away collection they basically just added these metallic star details they just added this little like character do you guys remember this like dust ball character there okay i don't know the proper names please forgive me i just like to watch spirited away i'm not like an expert on the film yeah these shoes are quite big and bulky actually in my opinion but they're just a classic white sneaker and i just really like the soles as well I, I just feel like it makes it more casual and i think it was worth the money because it wasn't too out there like i can wear this on an everyday basis just because the details are very subtle you know it's birded away collection but it's not out there because some of the other collection items were just a little bit too much for me yeah that's the first thing oh, the no. second thing that i got for my birthday are these shoes these are the Nike Dunk Lows, and the reason why I don't have the box is because I got them in Korea and I wore them there. It just matches all of my outfits, it matches my vibe, and just makes all my more elevated outfits more casual because I do wear a lot of formal pieces. Whenever I like go out, people ask me like if I'm going somewhere just because I like to wear slacks and like a t-shirt or like a shirt and a sweater vest and it kind of looks casual sorry kind of looks a little bit formal so i like to just you know pair it with these sneakers just to make it more casual these actually just came in today and was the reason why i'm filming this video right now i got another pair of dunk lows because i love these black and white ones are very simple and they match everything but because i realized how well they fit and how well they fit my style and in my closet i realized i can get another one so I, by the way, got both of these shoes from Cream. It's an app in Korea similar to StockX. It was just easier for me to find my size because Korean sizing is very universal. They go in centimeters, so it was easier for me to find my size. These are both women's dunks also. These are the dunk lows that I got this time. The light blue ones. I thought they would be really perfect for spring and summer coming up. And it has like a little like paisley Nike print as well. I am so excited to have both of these in my collection. I've been honestly waiting so long to buy Nike Dunks. I don't know why. I don't want to make this haul all shoes and sneakers. I'm just going to be quickly doing a little haul of the beauty items that I bought from Korea because I was a little bit more spendy because it was my birthday month. So the first thing that I got is this Round Lab Birchwater, I think it's called, Birchwater Sunscreen. So yeah, I needed a new sunscreen, so I decided to get this one, and it's so good. It's very hydrating, it's SPF 50, and yeah, I love it so much. I've been using it every single day. And I got this Holika Holika Eye Metal Glitter, and yeah, it's like a really, really pretty pink color. I got it because Pony used it in her crying makeup, and I have it on my eyes today. I'm not sure if you guys can tell. It's in the color Peach crush number nine i also got two things for like my under eyes and this is the holika holika under eye maker and number one there so it comes with this matte gray like contour stick side and then it comes with this like under eye glitter highlighter and then i got this holly pop holika holika holly pop double eyelid liner and it's just basically a liquid liner but for your under eyes because it's very sheer and smooth I'm not sure if you guys can tell but these are the lines can you guys tell i feel like you can't use this by itself because it's too sharp and it just looks like 
two lines like underneath your eyes but if you mix it well with this one i feel like it's a good great combination this just makes the under eye bags like pop i mean i don't think it's worth the hype though because all the beauty gurus in korea were talking about it so i felt like i had to get it i have this roman juicy lasting tint in this shade bear grape and this is for people with cool tone and i honestly don't know what tone i am because i feel like i like the color pink and purple but apparently they're for cool tone people and i've always known myself as a warm tone girl because i love like browns and oranges as well honestly i feel like i'm neutral so this is the color it's just like a grape purpley shade yeah the lighting makes it look like coral yeah and then i got these two i haven't opened these yet because i'm using other products at the moment but this is the cleo dewy blur tint in number 10 nude bloom there is taping on it so i'm trying to see if i can use these earrings oh my god i broke my earrings i hate myself like why did i do this why 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 did i guys do you see this oh i am this is like what i get for being lazy let's try this again oh this is like such a fiasco already oh okay here i had these face razors that i can use i should have just checked before using my earrings these are my favorite ones i love like the hoops i'm so annoyed right now i'm so annoyed this is the lip product wow the packaging looks really really cool like, do you guys see this? I mean, obviously, yeah, but... <sighs> Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, this is just a, not a good day for me. Okay, I mean, it's slightly different. It's so similar to Bear Grape. Do you guys see this? Okay, it looks a little bit different on camera, which kind of is a little bit more reassuring. Next, <laughs> this is the Espoir Nowhere uh, Lightweight Hydrating Natural Glow. And number one shell pink so this is my dupe or the dior lip glow just because i am running out of my bobby brown lip tint as well as my dior one i don't even know where my dior one is I, I keep losing all these like lip balms so i got this one to try out because it's cheaper than constantly buying dior and yeah basically dupe for the dior okay we'll see i'll try it on my lips next time and i'll update you guys i also got this this is the espoir peach skin fitting base it's like a little tone up base and you basically just shake it up and you apply it it's like a little primer a tone up primer very very common in korea and it just makes your face this light pink but I'm kind of taking a break from it because I feel like it's breaking me out. I don't know if I love it. I mean, honestly, I don't really see a point of tone-up base products. Don't know why I got it, honestly. Oh, I forgot to mention this blush that I got. Okay, so I've been really obsessed with Chang Won Young from IVE. She's so young, but she's so gorgeous. Her makeup artist apparently uses this blush. So I had to get it because... This is not the color that I normally go for with blushes. I stay away from this. I'm more of like this type of color. This is the type of color that I go for usually. I mean, do you guys see the comparison? Um, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I feel like it's definitely very, very light. It's the 2AN Dual Cheek in Love Rosy. I need to use it more for me to like get used to a certain shade of color. This is the last thing, another lip product. I guess I'm obsessed with lip products and shoes. But this is the Peri Para Ink Mood Matte in number six, like mauve something. This is the color. Very everything is translating very pink in this vlog. But it's just I've been obsessed with like mauvey, pinky, purples. But yeah, that's everything I think for this haul. I'm just grateful. I'm excited to be 23. Honestly, I feel like time goes by so quickly, like after you turn 18, like every like every year, I feel like I'm getting older and older. And honestly, I'm getting a little bit anxious from getting older and older. I'm already closer to the age 25 than 20. And that is just so crazy to me. I'm excited for what's to come, but I'm also really, really nervous because I love being young and I'm still young, but I definitely miss like turning 20 and turning 21, I feel like. I'm in a completely different 
stage in my life and not the best stage to be honest i feel like i'm in between things i'm done with college and i'm moving and transitioning and i feel like it's just this period where i'm the most unstable <laughs> i'm trying to enjoy this period of instability and make the most out of it by resting developing my inner self yeah i'm taking like new endivores i am learning new languages i am working on my youtube channel despite not getting any views it's fine i feel like it's just a nice creative outlet though because my friend started a podcast because we were talking and he was emphasizing how it's his creative outlet to create a podcast and in a sense, I've related so much to him because that's what I realized what my YouTube channel was. I, it's more of like a creative outlet. I'm not trying to get famous. I'm not trying to like be this like mega influencer. I mean, I do influence a lot of my friends. I am a total enabler. I'm just doing this because I love filming and editing videos. It's like very therapeutic and I've always been like the video editor in all of my school projects. Like whenever we need to film a video, I would be the one who edit all edits all the videos so in a sense i feel like it's very like deep rooted in me anyway um i think this is it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video please like this video and subscribe it really really helps me out really really encourages me to go on making my videos so yeah a little motivation helps so i'll see you guys next week hopefully and yeah thank you